Well, on this week's podcast, I'm interviewing Bob Miller and David Nelms. Bob is a uh, pastor slash cigar store owner. And I tell that because I think that's so cool. Um, he owned a couple of cigar stores in Virginia. Out of that came uh, Bible studies in the store. Uh, out of that came, I think, Bob, you said six churches that got planted by people who found Jesus in the cigar store. <laughs> Which that, that that just amazes me. Bob is now uh, uh, assistant pastor of a church in Kentucky, um, and he brought with him his guest David Nelms. David is a is a pastor uh, slash church planter, and he learned a lot about church planting uh, the hard way, um, and is now leading a group called the Timothy Initiative uh, that has planted. 32,000 churches in 2022 and is is working in 38 countries. Um, guys, we, we only have a few minutes. So just, just quickly, uh, let's let our listeners hear your voice and just a little bit about your story, just enough that they, they know who Bob Miller is and who David Nelms is. Bob? Um, thank you, Chuck. Um, glad to be here. Love Pinnacle Forum instrumental and a critical part of my life in deciding to uh, move to this church in the last chapter of my life. So I made a career change after being semi-retired at the age of 65, and it was my brothers in Pinnacle Forum that walked me through that, encouraged me. Uh, because of that, I, I moved to a church. I love the church, and because of that, I love local church planting, and that's my friend David Nelms. That's what he does. Thank you, Bob. And thank you, Chuck and the Pinnacle Forum. You guys, there's nobody better. I just thank God for what you're doing. Yeah, we started TTI about 15 years ago. You know, Jesus said in the Bible, he said, you make disciples and I will build my church. And I was a pastor most of my life. I was trying to build the church while neglecting making disciples. I was making attenders, but not so much disciples, certainly not disciple makers. And somehow we finally figured that part out and we've developed a system and God's just blessing it. We work among unreached people groups of the world. Think you're Muslim, Hindu, Buddhist, animist parts of the world. And we try to take the gospel places where it's not been. I'll never forget. I was sitting, uh, talking to a lady in Mali, North Africa. Mali is where Timbuktu is. And I asked her, she had on a burqa, and I said, why are you a Muslim and not a Christian? And she thought for a second, and she said, it's probably because Islam got to our town first. Mm -hmm. And I remember thinking to myself, she's exactly right. But what's really sad about it is we had about a 700-year head start. And they still got to her first. And that story has been repeated billions of times. I was thinking the other day through the prophet, God said, I have no, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked. And yet people are dying without Christ every day. Many of them never even hearing about them. And that bothers me. And we're trying to do something about it. Just like you guys are. Well, there you have it. If you'd like to know more about uh, the, the, uh, Timothy Initiative. It's ttionline.org. Um, and uh, if you want to know more, uh, listen to the podcast. Thanks. God bless.